All right. Welcome. Alright, so, uh, sorry I was off last night, I was, uh, helping somebody move, uh, a friend posted somebody's, uh, message about their daughter needing someone to help her move out of a bad situation, and, uh, so I went out to help out. And uh, I did not get a call back today, so I'm going to assume they either had enough people show up or uh, did not need my help. Either way, I'm actually happy with the result. I was able to help out when I was there. And uh, all we can ask for is Alright. Still got six people. Still got houses waiting to build. Alright, well. Huh? Send them scurrying. You what? Anyway, I've I've seen the girl in a bad situation a month before, and I hate seeing that shit. It really fucking bugs me. So I've seen worse places. I was glad to be able to help out and uh, get her into hey there. a better situation. It's 8 o'clock. You're listening to Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. What if I have to just put it on a plot plot? I already got several things up that are just not doing anything. <sighs> Maybe I can convince him to work out of a regular plot. Yeah, I, uh, most of the time when I hear about something like that, all I can do is, you know, offer some money or, or something like that to try and help somebody get out of the situation because I'm, I'm just not able to be there for them. But this was a, a nice chance where I was actually able to be there and do the do and, and help out and uh, that, that felt good. Where the fuck's the ace in? There it is. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah, they... She had, like, a brother and a cousin who were helping. And then... Uh, <laughs> it was it was weird. I mean, the, the people that you know, right? Uh, I, I showed up, and... One, there was another girl there helping, and it turned out she was somebody I met at the last Wasteland weekend that I, I attended. Um, and uh, then she had a uh, a boyfriend or a uh, I don't I don't, roommate. I don't know if, if they were involved or not, but I knew that guy too from from uh, a couple of detonations, and uh, so that was like really nice. It was it was really cool. Um, and uh, it was it was great to be there and be able to help out with what somebody needed help with, because man, that kind of shit is just you know, girl trapped by bad boyfriend is absolutely the fucking worst thing. Dirtbag McFuck Knuckles. There he is. Alright, shit heal. Get one of these fucking things I've made, be you bastard. It's 9 p.m. <sighs> All quiet, broken. which is how we like it. Stay safe out there. I'm gonna have to look it up and see how to get on. Come here, fucker. Get the fuck over here. Okay. Come on, dick bag. All right, fuck this guy and his problems. Yeah, no, show me, show me where he needs to. Oh, there he is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why don't you build that fucking thing I told you to build? Hey there. Hey there. I was just tinkering with my setup here. Did you find some nice ferals yet? Or is there something else I can do for you? Not yet, but I will. All right, well, you know where to find me. Yeah, wandering around, not getting a fucking setup built, and not going after any of the ghouls I tag. Yeah, I know exactly where to find you, you fucking useless piece of shit. 
Uh, man, I don't know if I want to do anything with dance. Uh, Nuka Cola. Not sure. I'm... Rogue Robo. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, man. Well, we're just getting down to the the dregs of, of things I can do without uh, starting up a main quest. Alright, well, it's probably time for me to go ahead and start looking at some of these big quests. I really don't know that I want to do this one yet. I think... Uh, all right, we'll head to Diamond City and go check out information on John. Not really, I mean, this is the, the prime quest. Now it's probably just a fucked up quest flag. I just need to remember to go look it up and do something with it. What? You got a staring problem? Technically, I should roam around and ask people about my son. But they're going to tell me to go talk to this guy anyway. His ties. <laughs> Owl. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. This is Radio Freedom. It's 4 a.m. Um. All quiet. Which is how we like it. Wait, Stay who are you? There, you the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but now Nick's disappeared and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Uh, Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Sure. Why not? Well, we cleared a loose again. Let's head there.
this wood for some water. Got a fucking boat anchor as an axe. And, well, maybe he's got something on his arm as a shield. All right, well, that's nice. As he stays the fuck away from me, it's fine. Well, I can see why they were calling him Swan. Oh, man, come back! I was having fun! No way is this one that... Still having fun? Is it still fun? Found the combat zone. Well, I have to go back and pay them a visit later. I'm going this way, so fuck you. <laughs> Wet blanket. Nice. I'm telling you. Joining Skinny Malone's crew was the best decision we've ever made. Look at this place. I still say Malone's weak. We caught that detective snooping around, and what does he do? Locks him up. Like he ain't got the balls to just kill him. Well, don't let his new girl hear that. 
She'll start swinging that bat of hers at your face until there ain't no face left. Hmm? Get him, you mug! Well, I'd love to send pack you, but apparently I can't. There you are. There you go, big guy. Let's purchase tickets. Oh. Function terminated. Terminal vending functions have been shut down. Please contact the system administrator for more information. Notice, terminal shutdown. Notice, the purchasing of subway tokens for this station will automatically cease on 2-11-77 to coincide with the station closing. Any uh, questions should be addressed to the station manager or the vault tech representative before your uh, employment termination date. Uh, again, Park Street's uh, terminals will cease to validate token dispensation after this date. Previously issued tokens remain usable at all other Boston subway monorail service platforms. Thank you. Employee notice. Fuck you, you're fired. Dear employee ID, I regret to inform you that your station, Park Street, will be closing due to purchase agreement with the Vault Tech Corporation. As such, we are we will be going through our records and redistributing <coughs> our many valued employees to other stations and departments. 
the automated system should identify your new location. You have been relocated to employee terminated. Thank you, and we look forward to many more years of working with you. Yeah. Guess it was not what? What's what's worse than uh getting dumped on a text message? Getting fired on basically a text Dirty message. Rats. Making me jumpy. Mm -hmm. What was that? It's rats. Squeak squeak, motherfucker. You're trying to give me a heart attack? What the? There ain't nothing here. Oh. Wait a minute. Who made that noise? All right, Barry. Hey. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. All's quiet across the Commonwealth. Stay safe out there. Nothing but nothing over here. Must be this is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. All quiet here. Stay tuned for Minutemen Alerts. Which one of you mugs said you saw something? Oh, no one? Alright, which one of you mugs is uh, the, the, the chunk over on the left? And uh, which one's the one on the right?
place. here at Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Stay safe, people. Nothing over here. Must be losing my mind. Yeah, I thought that's it. You're just losing your mind. Hey! Fuck.
so loud? Hello? That you? Who? Oh, dead. It's 1 p.m. This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. Not sure why he'd be carrying turpentine in his pocket, but sure, why not? Hey, fellas, you got another flask of that turpentine for me? I want to carry some turpentine. You know, sipping turpentine. Bob, you fuck up. That's what you and chug and tap and time. Uh, property of Voltec, Vault 114, or 114 in common parlance. Personnel, confidential, 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 Voltec clearance, SL4 required, employee eyes only, violation VTP. Dash O one O four one. Welcome, employees. Greetings. After many months of preliminary construction, we are pleased to welcome members of the technical and scientific staff of the newest addition to the Vault Tech family, Vault 114. Uh, like you, we are excited to get started on our latest endeavor, but we are not quite ready to open that great big gear door uh, to our new residence yet. Uh, you've probably noticed we've con contracted outside of vault -Tec for construction on this one. Uh, since it's utilizing a unique space by repurposing the former Fall Park Street subway station, we will be seeing a decrease in building costs as well as a shorter timeline for construction. This fits perfectly well with vault -Tec's observational studies which will be uh, revealed in a future memorandum. However, because of all of this, we will be seeing a lot of civilian traffic until construction of this facility is completed. It is up to you to help maintain the security of Vault 114 and its experiment from prying eyes without proper clearance. Loose lips sink ships, of course. Oh, loose lips sink ships, of course. Uh, they also result in immediate termination and possible criminal investigations. Welcome once again, Vault Tech Management. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm sure the science staff doesn't have any insidious stuff in their briefing. Let's see. Warning, this memorandum is meant for uh, members of Vault Fort the Vault 114 Science Division only, uh, or those with appropriate authority clearance levels SL4+. Uh, all others must exit this terminal immediately and report your infraction to your overseer, to the overseer or a member of all tech security. Thank you. Social Science Division. As mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be a will be hosting a hot will <sighs> As mentioned in your briefing, Vault 114 will be hosting high-ranking members of the of local and state government, uh, local luminaries, business people, and their families. Future members are aware they will be cohabiting solely with others of Boston's upper class. However, the luxury aspect of this vault has been highly exaggerated to those future residents. Multiple families uh, chosen randomly will live and sleep in a single room apartments, dining and bathing will be in shared quarters, and amenities will be minimal. Uh, in addition, we are currently interviewing for overseer position from many candidates. Our goal is to find someone with no supervisory or government experience and hopefully with a strong anti-authoritarian basis. Uh, Human Resources tells us that the interview process has vetted many viable candidates. By taking away the luxury and authority these groups saw in surface life, we hope to study the reactions in stressful situations. As such, please do not undermine the new overseer's authority at all during the experiment, even, and especially, if it, will, if it may cause physical discomfort, uh, embarrassment, or harm to residents. Thank you, vault -Tec Management. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm on board with this one. 
Seeing the rich get their comeuppance. Yeah, I'm there for that. All the elite special people. Yeah, fuck them. All right. Nope. Oh. Can't go down that way. Alrighty. Good afternoon. You're tuned to Radio Freedom, broadcasting across the Commonwealth. All quiet, which is how we like it. So I got Stay a safe out there, people. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? This place is like the opposite of airtight. Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. We used to pull this kind of gun all the time back before the war. Get a bunch of union boys to work some construction job that would go nowhere. Keep everyone on payroll. What? Damn it, my shoulder! Damn it, your spleen! your shoulder. I mean, the arm's off right around that point, but the shoulder's still intact. What are you crying about? Stop hiding. We'll make nice. Promise. Found you now. Yeah, you found me. How's that working out for you, pal? Maybe it's just me, but the answer seems to be Curse Splat. want to rush out and get blown to chunks? Follow me here.
Huh. Guess it was nothing after all. What the? On the other hand, maybe it was something after all. Hmm. It's 3 p.m. Nothing. Am I freaking seeing things? Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. Hey! Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. Hey! And we've seen that. Alright. Nothing new. down to Goblin Town. <laughs> A chip upon his shoulder indeed. Muscles for brains ain't coming back. Get this door open. Aha, my knight in shining armor. Question is, why does he come all this way? Risk life and limb? Old private eye. My son, Sean, is missing. He was kidnapped. But I don't know who took him or where they went. Missing kid, huh? Well, you came to the right man, if not the right place. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame. And she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew. Excellent. Crew here used to be small time, muscled out of the old neighborhood by bigger players. So they found this place. Don't know what happened to the previous owners, but they're not exactly around to charge rent. Yep. 
Greetings, Overseer. I hope this message finds you well, and your move into your new position has been an easy transition. Your appointment as Overseer came with high recommendations from your interviewers, and we hope you will be the perfect fit that everyone believes you to be. Please do not be nervous, as we have chosen you based on your natural qualities, decision-making skills, and unique personality. We believe that you possess innate abilities as a leader that will bring this vault into the new world nuclear war the new world the nuclear war creates so don't worry just go with your gut and everything will work perfectly good luck well tech management Evolt. perfect hideout you're tuned to radio freedom oh, wait a minute nothing to report Keep it tuned here for updates. Got it. Hold on, I hear some of them coming. There they are. How do you want to play this? job is to check on the prisoner. Why does that take so fucking long, huh? Hey, Dino, quit razzing that detective and get down here. Where the heck is he? Nothing over here. Must be losing my mind. I don't know if you can wait these guys out or not. Afraid of her own shadows now. Get back to work. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get into a fight. <laughs> Say hello, you good guy! looks clear. Someone's coming. Sneaky than normal, but uh, I haven't done anything particularly to try and be particularly sneaky, so. And loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Too bad for whoever cleans up the floor. I didn't mind calling that. We weren't gonna get through there without killing those guys. on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. There we are. 
Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. again. Bingo. This is Radio Freedom, voice of the Minutemen. It's six o'clock. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there. Got it. Bub, what did you do today? I rubbed one out. Oh, man. Word choice, Bob. Word choice. Whatever you do, I do your double. I have no idea why I'm taking all this crap. It's not like it's actually useful. I have it perhaps. Gonna kick up my feet after I knock you off. More stairs? Who built this damn fall? A fitness instructor? Well, actually. <laughs> it was specifically built to piss anybody in here off. Seems to be working correctly.
Get him alone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic. Don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another locked door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps. <sighs> big fat footsteps. Please remind. Okay, uh. It's getting dark out there, people. Please remind Stay residents safe. to one. Line up in an orderly report. fashion. Keep it Two, for a change piece. into vault suits immediately. Three, save all questions for orientation. Residency A1. Uh, Linehan family. Sean, wife Martha, sons John and Michael. Uh, Flaherty family. Michael, wife Joan, daughter Elizabeth. Presley family. Gina, husband Richard. Residency A2. Uh, O'Malley family. Michael, wife Jennifer, son Robert, daughter Ellen, infant. Uh, Baker family. Ralph, fiance Sarah, dog Spike, do not allow. Uh, Yancey family. Murray, wife Amy, sons Jimmy and Ronnie. Residency B2. Madison family. Bill, wife Belinda, daughters Jean, Mary, and Melissa. Smith family. Sean, wife Molly, son Paul, daughter Stephanie, infant. Residency B3. Uh, O'Brien family. Kevin, wife Megan, sons Ryan, Brandon, and Logan, daughters Molly and uh, Anna, uh, Kyla, and Brenda, infant. Todd Gates, bachelor. Steps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. All right, let's go check out the big fat footsteps. What are you doing? You're coming to my house? Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Darla, listen to me. You have a home to go back to. You don't want to throw your life away with these thugs. I... I... You're right! What am I doing? I've gotten all mixed up. Darla! Where... Where are you going? Home, Skinny. Where I should have been all this time. This is goodbye for us. Oh, come on, Nikki. You cost me my men? Now you and your friend cost me my girl? My friend here just did you a favor, Skinny. You always did have bad taste in women. Now that she's not around to feed that temper of yours, maybe you'll see sense and let us walk. You still owe me for two weeks in the hole. You smug, overconfident ass. 
Yeah, yeah. All right, you get to the count of ten. I still see your face after that. I'm gunning both of you down. We better get out of here fast. One. Two. Three. It's not that I don't think I can take Skinny and the two guys he's got left. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report. Keep it to yeah, It's just that updates. I figured I'd go ahead and not kill everybody if I didn't have to. I know. How unusual for me not to be a bloodthirsty maniac. Sometimes it happens. Yeah, sorry, uh, we got, uh, we gotta wait for loads all the time, that's, uh, just the, the nature of the beast. Of course, we could look into doing something else while we wait for the, uh, new Sim Settlement stuff to come out and come back to this if we wanted. Although, I don't know what else I'd want to look at. I have to go look through stuff and see if there was anything I really felt an incredible urge to play. I was looking at mods for uh, Cyberpunk, but I haven't found anything that's particularly promising. Um, so, still waiting to see if anything materializes there. And apparently they've put out some DLC, which has been some outfits and a change of look for Johnny. Um... I'm hoping they're planning on doing a little more than that. But hey, see what happens. Damn. We are taking a long load on this one, aren't we? Alright, well. Wake me up a little later. <laughs> oh, the excitement. Oh, the thrill. Oh, the load time. Come on. I don't have to start looking up jokes. Ah, we're doing better. I you know, slowly but surely. Um, actually, uh, Sunday, uh, when I was online, uh, I was... I don't remember what I was looking at. I was either reading some stuff or watching a movie, and uh, Trixie came in here and... and I got her up on the table, and I was petting on her and loving on her, and she was just really happy up here with me. That was really nice. Um, Tabby will still chase her. She'll still run from Tabby. But I haven't had him do anything super bad recently. I mean, if Tabby starts chasing her, Trixie will just start yowling. But I haven't had that be like, they... they corner each other and start going at it um so that's good tabby's been a lot more sedate 
Well, I had Trixie on the table. She came into the room, and Trixie started growling, and Tabby just kind of laid down in the corner and looked at her and went, yeah, whatever. Hello? Are we going to... Are we going to load up or lock up? Sorry. Huh. Testing uh, all day, all across never thought the anything so naturally ominous Nothing could to end up looking moment. so Stay inviting. For Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. All right. That site is just not growing at all. Starlight's up to 15. Sanctuary's stable at 13. Damn, there's 11 people at the castle. Let's head over there. Let's see what that looks like. Seems like there might be a lot of people at loose ends that need something to do. Ten beds. Well, another bed or so. Come 
I feel like the first thing you should build is a power station just to really get the power flowing. Don't make me come in there and grab somebody. Get the fuck out here and get to work. Outside the walls, I don't know.
Oh, yeah, there's one guy over there. I was gonna say, oh, Superman coming in. But that's strong. I sent him over here to help with defense and shit. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Does not have enough electricity. Really? Well, that's why we're down on water. All right. Just getting that municipal power station up is important. Of course, I don't remember if I was paying attention or if it was a power station that was going in or something else. That could be problematic. Better be a power station. I will be paid radio freedom. If not. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there, people. God damn it. Really? That seemed like the best thing to throw in when we're out of power. Caravan services. Yeah, I mean, we're producing nothing. Why wouldn't caravan services be the thing to throw in? Assholes. I must admit, it's my fault. I didn't check it before I threw it down and didn't think of it until it was too late. But still. Motherfuckers. I mean, if it had built anything, like, like comms would have been an okay call. Uh, <clears throat> water, power, any of those would have been... No, they went for the one thing that's probably not going to get us anything. Fucking trading post. Uh, grumble, 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 bitch, bitch, bitch. I noticed that nobody's coming over here to fucking do any work either.
Okay. You guys are assigned to fucking that. What about anybody else? I mean, we were supposed to have 11 motherfuckers up in this place. Where are they at? Okay. Man, I ain't seeing motherfucker number one. Yo, you. What you doing? Steve? God damn it. This is Radio Freedom. It's 4 a.m. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. You know what? Come here. Come here. I got a job for you. We need power more than we need defense right now. Get on it! Got it. I know we have zero water right now, it's fine. As long as we get this damn power up, the water will come back online. Apparently the water's not coming back online. Fifty power ain't enough to run our shit? Jesus. What are we fucking doing over here? Very, very displeased.
fine. You know what? Y'all want to be that way? Fine. This is Radio Freedom. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. What's up? You just woke up. Oh, I'm not going to some industrial plots. What the fuck? <sighs> Seriously? Jesus fucking Christ. Sometimes strong, not under understand. That's excellent, strong. Keep up the good work. Oh, sorry. Um, you don't understand what?
do? Unassigned loser. Here's your new job. Merry Christmas. Seriously? Fuck it. I quit. You motherfuckers can do whatever the hell you want. You don't want to build anything up? Good luck. I'm out. I quit. I'm, I'm getting tired of these settlements that don't do what the fuck you tell them to do. Alright. This is Radio Freedom, the voice of the Minutemen. It's 7 a.m. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Uh oh, did she just decide now she wants to do what I fucking told her? Holy hell. Oh no, loser boy, come here. Why are you doing shit over there? You're just pretending. Get over here and do some real work. Alright. Fuck these guys. We're going back to Diamond City. Oh, you know what? I just realized this fucking web page is up in my way. Sorry, I haven't been able to see comments for a little bit because I had that web page up. Well, I was going to look stuff up since we were taking fucking forever to load there. To find Nick. Yeah, sorry. Ellie, are you here? Nick? Oh, God, it's really you. <laughs> well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but... You deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat... Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Well, we were... We were at home when the uh, sirens went off. And the family ran off to the vault, but I ran under a bridge and got irradiated uh, a lot. And uh, then the the plot sort of doesn't Get match up at head. that point. I can relate. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I guess I should go with the uh, the thing, huh? All right. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. It's a lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they. It's they okay. Just... 
You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. But they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me... the backup. Well, we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone Good take question. him? question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it, and that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took this your kid Radio had an agenda. All day, all a lot of groups the in the Commonwealth that take Nothing people. Raiders, super mutants, the Gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Yeah, but don't super mutants and raiders typically either eat or well, super mutants eat everybody. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. <sighs> In other words, hard to what miss. What was they, really? I think we can safely rule them out. Who were the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. The discarded prototype, anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal, and there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. And it's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Probably some kind of fail-safe. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. I'm not to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left Good. eye. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. It's way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer he is. He bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah. Big difference between an infant and a ten-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am.
<laughs> Cantaloupe. Nice. Uh, that's a pretty good one. I uh, didn't want Ellie to hear this, but I think you should know. Everything I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance is bad news. He's more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. It's more than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Radio Freedom, broadcasting across the Commonwealth. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? See if I can get this over. Wait a minute. Uh, dude. That's one heck of a lock. That, that, something to hide, it's Kellogg? It's just a wall Why behind don't that you door. Give it a try? That's, that's not a door into the building. It's just a door in a frame, Nick. All See right, fine. The monsters ink this motherfucker. You can get that door open. <sighs> Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. Well, if he did, we're going to take it. Every last thing. Every they seem room. small to you? I a guy like Kellogg would think big. Nothing here. Did you check out that desk? I'm telling you, something's not right. Look for anything out of sorts. Switch. A button. So what he's talking about is that. Is this well, button right there? That's one way to hide a room. Look at this. All of a Merc's favorite things. Nick. Well, look at that. All of Kellogg's favorite things. All right. Gwinnett Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, cigars, San Francisco sunlights. Hey, Valentine. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Get hit in the head? I can relate. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. Why don't you let him have a whiff? See if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. If you have to face Kellogg on your own, just say so. <laughs> Very nice. That's that's good. All right. Uh... The silent routine isn't getting us anywhere. 
I kind of like Nick as a companion, just because I kind of like Nick. Um, uh, I'm gonna. I want you with me on this, Nick. All right, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Oh, I hope I was not supposed to get dog meat to smell the cigars before we left. That would be terrible. Because then we'd have to go back in and out. Four o'clock, you're tuned to Minuteman Radio. Nothing to report. Fuck! Safe, people. God damn it, now dog meets a wall. Fuck my life. <sighs> You're in trouble indeed. All right. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Got something, boy? Yep. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes he just gets in the way, though. Kellogg must have stopped here. Yep. Search around, see if we can pick up the trail. <laughs> San Francisco sunlights. Dog meat find something? Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Yep. Hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on?
Anything useful? his own turret. You're tuned to Radio Freedom. We got the targeting computer All with one quiet, bullet. Which is this guy's a crack shot. Stay safe out there, people. Bloody bandages. Dog me can track this. That nose is second to none. <coughs> hmm. What do you think, boy? Enough to go on? <coughs> Looks like this one thought he'd get away. No such luck. Dog meat's found something. You know the drill. Somebody didn't want to get snuck up on here. Gwyneth Stout. One of his creature comforts. Okay, boy, let's track him. That dog's got one hell of a nose. He'll sniff Kellogg out. Stop. 
Uh-oh. We'll be taking that. Seven PM here at Radio Freedom. Nothing new to report. Keep it tuned here for Minutemen Alerts. Attention, Damn. assailant. Lower your weapons Hell of a immediately. What party happened here? Bodyguard robots didn't fare too well. Not sure who started it, but this traitor never stood a chance. Doesn't look like a robbery. Must have just gotten in his way. This didn't do any good for them, did it? Alert. Critical signs. Alert. Critical what have signs. We here? Error. System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. Tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant, Kellogg. Another one of his stogies. Getting close. I can feel it. Look around. What do you think, boy? Was this our man? Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break.
9 p.m. Damn. Nothing to report. Stay safe out there, everyone. I can't think that dog made again. Oh. This is Radio Freedom, broadcasting all day, all across the Commonwealth. All quiet, which is how we like it. Stay safe out there, people. Hey, toss anything you can't haul my way. They can't help dog me at all. Oh, this is bullcrap. Sorry, dog mate. I I'd love to fucking give you some health or anything. But apparently I'm not allowed to. Hey, there's something you need? If I got it. I don't know. Short combat rifle's fine, unless I got something better for you. Yeah, what? This annoys me. But I can't do anything about it, so I'm gonna just move on. I can't remember if it can have one or not. Where Nick? Hey. I don't Come think on. it can. Take a look. Shit, he can. Well, well, we'll be getting you set up here, buddy boy. Shit for you, bud. Draw a flamer! Oh boy! Hey, what's the plan? Um, the plan is to give you equipment. I know, right? The fuck you dog meat's not your companion anymore thing is pissing me off a lot. Alright, let's see. We need a left. No? 
I mean, a right arm and a right leg. Oh, we got a right arm. We just need a right leg. All right. I don't need... Uh... Okay, I don't have anything for you. Sorry, Nick. This is Radio Freedom. Nothing to report at the moment. Stay tuned for updates. Glad you uh, called that out. I, I hate to have missed that update, that vital update of nothing to report. This is Radio Freedom, man. We have dick to say, but we're going to keep saying it. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Looting the trash cans. Because I'm that classy. I don't think we're... Something out there. Guess we're not alone. Good. Well, somebody certainly set up a lot of these bitches around here. Yep, sorry. Let's see. Um, let's go to the wiki for this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. No one issues. All right. No, that's not going to be it. Oh, I think I'm going to have to get out of here. Quest guide? Is it still loading? I'm going to have a hard time telling if it's going to be this. Damn. Sensor anomaly detected. Well, we just walked into fuck you, Bill. An enemy may be utilizing stealth. How interesting. Combat initiated.
Wow. That fucking thing set me on fire. Really? Kellogg's secure facility right infiltrated. Termination required. You know what? I'll, I'll let you use whatever you want. Fuck it. Actually, had planned when we finished loading in. 11 p.m. Talk out there. Direct is received from Kellogg. Nothing to report. Destroy intruder. Stay tuned here for updates. Calling it at night, but uh, then we walked into a super ambush. All right. Um. Well, nothing's attacking us right this second. Initiate but directive Sigma Omicron. Project Kellogg. Okay, those guys are on the floor. Alright. Let me log out. Some helmet plus. Intruder in Fort Hagen. Eliminating hostile. Alright. Where did you go? Alright, um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna call it a night here. Um, these guys are all... I am equipped with the most advanced institute sensors available. I will find you. Yeah. Downstairs are not in this room somewhere, so... We're gonna call it a night here, and, uh, then we will pick up tomorrow, and, uh, see... Where the hell Kellogg is and probably kill a shit ton more sense. Alright. Until then. Actually, you have a Now uh, I understand. EKG, you uh, are hiding uh, because you uh, fear death. They were wise to a sleep. thing tomorrow, right? Well, we'll see. We'll get on tomorrow and see what happens. Alright. Take care and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.